Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru. It is July 22nd, 2022. I'm here for my Wordle of the Day and for Spoonerism Day. And of course, I love words, especially when they can be manipulated humorously. And George Carlin was an artist at that. And he used a Spoonerism where you switch the first parts, the first sounds of words to make something else and uh, came up with a couple of good pieces of advice. Don't sweat the petty things and don't pet the sweaty things. The very first Spoonerism I ever heard was an urban legend about somebody who was introducing a visiting musician and accidentally said, and now Mr. Play Betty will pee for us instead of Mr. Peabody will play for us. Uh, and the only spoonerism of note that I ever created was the top part of the pop tart. All right, so we're going to use spoonerisms as our inspiration. And I'm going to particularly use the quote from George Carlin. And so I'm going to use the word sweat because it's a nice five letter word. It's got great letters in it. Got some good vowels. Let's see what happens. Okay, the vowels were no use. <laughs> All right, but we've got a T and we know there's an S here somewhere. So let's think about construction. First of all, we need new vowels. Uh, secondly, the S doesn't go there. It could go in the center, but I'm wondering if it's combined with the T. I think I'm going to try a word that really works well in conjunction with sweat, but people for some reason hate. Some people hate the word moist. I have no problem with it. I, I, I just find it humorous that people do. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and try this. I mean, it could be moist. I know that we're not going to get any additional information from the tea, but maybe we'll get it on the second try. So let's find out. Ugh. Well, we got the S. We got the S placed. Oh, and we have excluded now two more vowels. So if we put a U here, it could be trust. It could be crossed. It could be... That's all I can think of. What else could it be? I'm thinking it's going to be trust. Then again, I thought it was going to be moist. All right. Could it be anything else? I'm going to try trust. Is that awful to try that? What if it doesn't work? I'm going to be in big trouble. All right, I'm going to try it anyway. I'm in a devil may care mode. Oh, oh. <laughs> the only other vowel it could be. It's one of those, it has no normal vowel words. Trist. Wait, could it be anything other than this? I don't think I'm in trouble because I think that I've narrowed it down to its only conclusion. There can't be anything else in there besides a Y, right? Nothing else works. That's the only other letter that could be a vowel. Let's go ahead and just pull the trigger on that. Yeah, okay. Oh, phew. All right, that is it for me. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. Tough one, no vowels. I didn't even think of the word tryst. I always think of like lymph or hymns. Mm, Trist is a good one. All right, that, that may be problematic for some folks. If you have any questions or comments, put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye, and bye, Fireball.